Okay, in this short video, we're going to be showing a uh, function block uh, timer. Several different ways to do that. Um, you know, I was going to make a video showing several different ways to program timers, but that would be too long, so I'll probably break it up in a couple of videos. So, um, again, this is an emulated backplane uh, emulated program. I do have the function chart already open. Um, I preset the function chart to uh, a sheet layout of 11 by 17. Default comes a lot smaller than that, so make sure if you do that, you do it offline. Uh, obviously, that's not something you can change while you're online. <clears throat> so real quick, um, you start your edits, and you go to, uh, like in this case, we'll use the uh, timer on. And uh, using this timer, this, uh, this time on delay, uh, what we can do... Uh, so you can enable this. Actually, there's several different layouts of it too. Uh, so you can have an enable in, um, timer enable, of course, uh, preset, uh, reset, um, enable out, uh, ACC, of course, that's accumulate, uh, just your standard stuff, right? Enable. Um, so you're using your bits right here, right? Your TTT or your TT, or your DN, uh, your status. Um, so, I mean, just there's a couple things right there you can kind of just and you can check these to show them if you wanted to um, that's completely up to you um, you know if you check them to show them then it, it's obviously going to get a little bit bigger um, but you can use them uh, that's one, one reason you would want to check them to show them um, you know some people don't they choose not to use them so um, with that said uh, in our case we're going to use the timer enable right so we'll just have uh, Enable timer. This is standard bit, right? We can cut on, cut off. A preset. Uh, we'll just use a preset of, uh, and we'll we'll throw a value in here, right? We'll we'll put preset value, and we'll keep that a dent. Um, and so I like to spread this out a little bit. So I like to keep my keep everything as you know uniform as I can uh, reset we're going to basically reset it when it goes done uh, so it's basically going to be like a free running timer um, and for that matter we'll just uh, we can use the the uh, TT and the DN for our other stuff if we want but real quick uh, you know kind of highlight that we'll we'll throw a value into um, the preset value so preset we'll just say one second uh, we'll go ahead and cut that on okay so you notice that the uh, timer's not running right you know of course we the preset didn't take either so let's let's actually put that in there okay so it took that time all right so you see the timer's not running it's not doing anything right so that's because we don't have the enable bit on Right, so let's go ahead and cut the enable bit on, and that's simply a, either a 1 or a 0. Okay, so now we have our timer running. It's running up to uh, 1000 and then coming in and resetting. So what happens if we take the reset out, right? So if we take the reset out and we don't have anything resetting it, will it free run just like a normal timer? It will time out just like a normal timer would, and uh, basically, if you drop the enable, it would, you know, let's see. Actually, let's let's keep that like that, and let's show what what happens if you just drop the enable. So we'll go back to tags, and we'll drop the enable to a zero, and it see it clears it. So that's one way to clear it. Another way to clear it. Uh, so doing the enable will clear it, but another way to clear it is using a reset, which is more standardly used. Um, so in that case, uh, you know, having like a reset right, you know, down here for some reason, uh, like if somebody were to come in and put uh, like a timer reset for this matter, uh, timer reset. So that that's another way to do that. Uh, which is more common, you know, um, you may have different ways, like uh, you may have it reset based upon a condition. Uh, in this case, you know, we'll just have it, 
you know, we can come in and reset it. The problem with doing it like this is I don't have anything, you know, actually controlling it. So, like, the reset on and off, so that's the reason I, I kind of use the, um, the done bit, basically. So it would be like a free running, and you could see it running. So, therefore, I'd come back and put that like this. Reset. And I can say that too. I can say if if done and the reset's on, so I can come up here and, and actually do that as well. Um, let's do, let's do that. Let's come in and do this. So we can say and this is just a an and function, and I'm gonna reduce it down to two inputs because that's all I care to use in this instance. And I want to say well if the timer is done and the reset time or the, the timer reset bit is on then reset the counter or reset the timer and so it shows I can't do that right so the reason is because I need to come right here and hit assemble or assume data and then it should take so just like that um, sometimes what happens is coming off the back of one instruction to the front of another instruction, you just have to basically make it known, uh, a known presence where it's at. So that's how you do that. You just right click and you basically um, assume the data available. So um, in this case, we're not resetting right now, but so let's go back here and let's cut a turn that into a one. So now we're having the reset only work off the done bit if the reset timer is on so um, you can almost call this a reset uh, time reset enable for that for that matter because that's really what it's doing it's allowing the the reset to happen so um, in a nutshell I mean that's just pretty much uh, that's a really really simple way uh, to do a timer on on a function block so, um, you know, not very complicated at all. What I'll probably do is, is come back in, uh, on the next video and do a timer off. But, um, you know, just to kind of show a timer on representation and how this is used for those who are, have an interest in it. Um, this is a, a prime example of, of ways you can do it. And note that you, uh, in every uh, function block, you have uh, different things you can check on and check off to show or, or not show. So say, for instance, if we did not want to show um, the ACC or the EN and the, uh, the TT, so the timer, um, and it, say we didn't even want to show that, the ACC, we could just do that. So you can keep it as simple or as complex as you want it. Um, personally, I like to see the ACC, so I like to see where it's at in the function or in the, the timer. So um, I normally keep it like that. And then I'll come back and uh, basically straighten this out just a little bit. Uh, again, to, to try to get this, uh, try to get this value. Uh, so let's see if we can't get that. Yep, that looks a little bit better anyway. Okay, so um, real quick, hopefully that was helpful. And um, again, I'll be coming out with uh, be another video right behind this one showing um, a couple of different representations of timers. Um, you know, again, this was the timer on. We'll be doing timer off and then probably a retentative and then a counter. Uh, just to kind of run through a couple function block ones, you know, I kind of I put a video out the other day and wanted to know some, uh, you know, inputs on what people wanted to see. So uh, anyway, so this is one of the things that came out. So I wanted to kind of, you know, throw a video out there and, and, um, Anyway, so this is um, this basically how to show uh, how to use a timer on in function block. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful, and uh, look forward to seeing you in the uh, next video.